What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk real quick about the one thing that I do to quickly speed up models that I download from the 3D warehouse. Um, so I also wanted to let you know that through tomorrow night at 11.59 p.m. the SketchUp Essentials course um, enrollment has opened up for that course. So if that's something you're interested in you want more great tips like this one, uh, more step-by-step -step SketchUp training, make sure you check that out at the sketchpresentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so um, this is a model that I've been using. I've used it for some rendering tutorials. I used it yesterday in my uh, interior navigation tutorials. But in this case, what I wanted to do is I wanted to use it as an example of um, the one thing that I do when I download a kind of slow model from the 3D warehouse. So um, you can search for this name um, by Andy Didiich to download this model. And this is actually a really great, really detailed model. There's nothing wrong wrong with it, but I wanted to talk a little bit about how we can speed it up. And you can see how this is a fairly large model, it's a 33 megabyte file. And so what that means is when I first open this up and I start navigating around, um, my performance is a little bit choppy, especially when I start letting up on my mouse button, or on my orbit button. So I'll kind of navigate around and then I'll orbit and it'll take a second and kind of think um, before, it, uh, before it lets me navigate around a little bit further. So you can see how it's just uh, making that performance just a little bit choppy and uh, it's actually handling it fairly well, but I wanted to talk about probably the two things that I do that are going to really speed up this model. So the very first thing that I always, 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 always tell people to do is turn off shadows. And in this case, shadows weren't on anyway, but shadows is probably the biggest performance suck um, inside of SketchUp, meaning that uh, it'll just come in here and every time you, you navigate and you orbit, and I've got a tree in my way right now, but every time that you navigate and you orbit, what it's gonna do, if I can get through these trees, is what it's gonna do is it's gonna stop and it's gonna recalculate the shadows. So number one thing whenever you're working with any model and you're having performance issues is turn off those shadows in the shadow section of your tray. So that's gonna be one thing that's gonna increase your performance. The other thing that I always do when I'm dealing with models like this one that have a lot of geometry in them is I go into my styles and I go to edit um, inside my selected style and I make sure to turn off profiles. So when I turn off profiles, you can see how what that does is when profiles are turned on, and I'll turn these up to about 10 just so you can see them, it basically goes in here and it adds an extra line on top of the lines inside of the model to give you kind of some accent. You can see how when I turn that up to 10, you can really see that. Well, what I do is instead of having profiles on, what I do is I turn that off. And the reason for that is if you notice when you first get into this model from the 3D warehouse and you have profiles turned on, if you navigate, if you rotate around like this and then you let up on the orbit button, this takes a second and it thinks and then it loads in a whole bunch of extra profile lines. So what that's doing is that's coming in here and that's calculating additional lines and showing them. Well, the problem with that is that means that SketchUp's basically coming in here and recalculating what those lines are gonna look like with profiles twice. And so the first thing I do after turning off shadows is I go into my profiles and I turn those off until I need them. And there are definitely times when you need those, but when you're just trying to quickly increase performance, turning that off can be really helpful. And one thing that'll give you an indicator on if this is gonna run quickly or not is if you look in your styles section here, um, as soon as I turn that profiles off, you get a little clock here, the little clock indicates that this style is a fast style, meaning it's gonna run quickly. So that's a really quick way to look at your styles and see if you have a quick style enabled. Um, and really quick, if I go into my model information, I just wanna show you why this takes so long or why this hurts your performance. Well, if you go into your model info and you look at your statistics, you're gonna notice you've got like 859,000 edges in here. And so whenever you click on profiles and you turn that on, that means that for a large number of those edges, this is coming in here and calculating the edges it has to display twice. So turn those profiles off and uh, that's going to make your 3D warehouse models run a lot faster. 
So that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you'd like to see more videos about speeding up your SketchUp model, I will link to a couple in the notes down below, but also leave a comment below if you'd like to see more content like this, I can definitely make that. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.